scrolling through right now. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're live. Yay! Good morning, everybody. Welcome in to our space. Welcome into our sacred space. It is such a blessing to be here for another sacred Sunday with you. And so I'm grabbing my phone, I'm checking my phone, and um, that's where I find you and see who's tuning in with us on Sunday morning. So it just sometimes takes me a second here to get get us um, on my screen so that I can check you out. Okay, there we go. Yay, we're live. And we say, let us know that you can see us and hear us because that's really important to the success of our Sunday morning. <laughs> it would be a little challenging if you couldn't see us or hear us. So um, good morning, Karen. I've got to remember to speak up. I, I know my audio is going to be a little bit low today, so I'm going to keep in mind to, to speak up. I've got my mic here. Uh, Karen says, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here, Karen. Welcome in. Welcome into our sacred space, everybody. You have joined us here at Brentwood Inspired Living Center. This is our Sunday gathering. We meet here every Sunday on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern. And I am very uh, conscious of that now because I am on the East Coast. <laughs> so I'm aware of the time over here. Good morning, Tracy. Welcome in, everybody. So nice to see you all joining us this morning. My name is Amy Van Ling, and I am in loving service as a spiritual director of this exceptional community uh, where our purpose is to be a safe environment. That's uh, no dogma, no judgment, trust uh, a place, a space for everyone, every single person to recognize, recognize their true essence, the, the truth, their, their true nature, to step into the magnificent unfoldment of your divine appointment here on this earth in this incarnation. Yes, yes, yes. This is a space, um, a space in consciousness, a, a place where we open up beyond the paradigm that we're living in. We have, we're having a good conversation right before we went live about this. We, we live beyond the paradigm we're living in, beyond what we already know, and we hold that vision. We come into a willingness to, to operate and participate in the space of the unknown because that's where and when you discover your true self. That's where the um, infinite potential possibilities emerge from that vibration that you hold in mind. Um, and in your imagination that Jerry talks a lot about and brings to us. So um, you know, blossom from there like the spring, like the spring and then the world sees your light. Your light, let your light shine. Good morning, everybody. Let me know you're here with a comment because that's when I get to see your beautiful name and profile picture. Good morning, Luinda. She says, good morning. Who else is here? Good morning, precious souls. Let us know that you're here when you get here with a comment. I see the numbers join us, but I, I can't always tell that it's you until you give me a little word or emoji or something like that. I am thrilled to be here this morning with Jerry, Brittany, and Paris. We send you all greetings of love and virtual hugs. Uh, beautiful things. Uh, remember that we can energize the vibration of love by becoming the vibration of love. Um, by uh, sharing, sharing that vibration with every single person that you see logging in, every single person you think of. Uh, so it's fun. It's a fun practice to, to share the love. And we want you to know that you are loved and you are valued. And we are so thankful that you are tuning in. Our theme for March has been just a little willingness. And I can't wait to hear Jerry share all about this. Um, magical energy behind willingness. He's got a lot to say to us today, and I am so thrilled. It is my utmost pleasure to welcome uh, back Jerry Mika. He is a special being of light. Um, he's, I'm so grateful for our connection. I shared last year about how we met in a clubhouse room. Now, for those of you who don't know, that's a virtual room on an app, clubhouse. <laughs> And Jerry was in there talking about Neville. And uh, many of you remember our dear Jerry, J-E-R-R-I, Brillhart, who made her transition a couple of years ago at the age of 100. And she was the only person I ever knew that spoke about Neville. And she, in fact, back in the day, she would listen to Neville speak in LA. And so up until hearing Jerry, our Jerry here, speak in the clubhouse in my head never heard anybody else really talking about Neville and so here's Jerry so it's a divine appointment no doubt about it and um, Jerry is here to share a message about willingness with us today and his workshop 
is at 11.30 to 12.30 on our Zoom link, open to everybody, invite, share the link. And this is about entering the imagination. And this is, this is Neville stuff, so it's good stuff. I'm so excited uh, that you're here with us, Jerry. Thank you for your willingness to say yes and be with us and tune in with us, even when there's a party going on in your farm and you're, <laughs> you're stepping away from the party to be with us. We're so thankful, so thankful for you. Uh, and for your yes to be here. Um, so yay, yay, yay. And we have our special soulful spirit, Brittany Gilmore with us today, sharing her heart, stirring music with us. And we are always so tremendously grateful for your presence, Brittany, your essence, the way you open our space with harmony and joy and, and beauty. Thank you, thank you for saying yes and being here with us this morning. We love you, we appreciate you. And Paris is back with us, yay! She is sharing our inspirational reading today about willingness, and she is going to be creating the space for us to tune into prosperity and abundance. So thank you, thank you, Jerry, Brittany, Paris, for gifting us with your presence and essence this morning. We're blessed to have you. We're thankful that you are here. Um, I am so grateful for everybody here tuning in. Let me check back here on the feed and see. I think I need to turn up my light. There we go. Probably um, helps to see everybody. Good morning, Dave. Dave says good morning from Dave and Julie. Hi, Dave and Julie. Bonnie is here. Bonnie and Robin say hi. Hi, Tanya. Tanya's here. Kathy's here. Good morning. Morgan's here. Patricia's here. She says hello from sunny Oceanside, California. Where did you go, Amy? <laughs> I know. I was just there. Uh, you're in my old stomping ground. I used to ride my bike over there to Oceanside well, years ago when I lived there, and then recently when I lived there again. <laughs> Cat knows. Dan is here. She says hello. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you here. I'm so grateful for all of you. It's so nice to see all of your faces tuning in. We welcome each of you um, in here with us this morning. Thank you for committing your time and your energy to co creating this heart space and dedicating your hearts to creating a kind, just, and loving global society for all people. Uh, so quick reminder, if you or anyone you know would like life-affirming, love-affirming prayer, um, please let us know. You can go to our website, brentwoodilc.org, and go to our Connect page and then our Prayer and Healing page, and you can submit prayer requests to us, and we love to pray over your prayer requests. This is not a prayer of like, um, oh, please, please, God. This is a prayer of, of affirming, tuning into knowing what already is. So um, send them our way. We love to pray. If you would like to receive updates about our community, sign up for our weekly Inspired Living Connection email that goes out every Wednesday. Thank you, Kathy, for doing that and keeping up on that for us. And that's under Connect on our website, brentwoodilc.org. And then just sign up for the weekly connection, put your email in there, and then you'll get all the, the emails every Wednesday and, and stay up to date with everything we have going on here. And Loaves and Fishes con uh, collection and recycle will happen next Sunday at the in-person service at 47703 Lone Tree Way. That's in Antioch. And so bring your um, non-perishable food items for that collection and any recyclables that we have. Thank you, Nancy and Florence, for your love uh, that you share with the community and with our outreach. We are grateful, grateful, grateful. Good morning, Dave. Dave says, looking forward to hearing Jerry share Neville's wisdom. Yes, great to see Paris and Brittany too. Yes, yes, yes. Florence says, good morning. Welcome in, bright, beloved being. So grateful uh, to be together. So let's um, let's allow ourselves to release tension, drop into our heart space, feel the flow of the space, um, and open up with our mission statement. I invite you in. We are an open, heart-centered, spiritual community honoring the one presence within us. We welcome all to connect grow and expand in wisdom, compassion, and love. Thank you. Thank you for joining in this mission with us. We are so grateful uh, for this co-creation. I am first going to hand the screen over to Brittany this morning for our community song to open us up, to open our heart space, open our throat chakra, and get into the flow. Thank you, Brittany. Good morning. Um, it's so good to be here and to feel the love exchanging between all of us people through the internet. When Amy asked me to um, play this morning, I said, have you guys done I Am Light in a while? 
She said no. So that is one of my favorite songs of all time. So we're going to start out with that song together. my family did I am not the voices in my head I am not the pieces of a brokenness inside I am light I am light I am light I mistakes that I have made or any of the things that caused me pain. I am not the pieces of a dream I left behind. I am light. All together. I am color of my eyes oh i am not the skin on the outside i am not my age i am not my race my soul inside is all light all light i am light i am light yes you are I am light, I am light, I am divinity defined, I am the God on the inside, I am a star, a piece of it all, I am light, one more time, I am light. You are light. You are light. You are light. We are light. And we are light. 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 We Thank you so Yay! much. Thank you for singing that with me. Fun. I think that's everyone's favorite. <laughs> it's mine. <too. laughs> Thank you, Brittany. We love you. Thank you for bringing us into that heart space. So beautiful. We appreciate you, your music, your vibration. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I am going to hand the screen over to Paris this morning for our inspirational reading. Thank you, Paris, for being with us. Good morning, everyone. I can't believe how beautiful that was. We sound so great together. Um, our March theme is just a little willingness. Today, I'd like to share with you a section from chapter six of Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life, where she talks about resistance to change and the concept of willingness to release the need. She says this, it, meaning the condition you wish to release, has nothing to do with willpower or discipline. Whatever we are trying to release in our lives is just a symptom, an outer effect. Trying to eliminate the symptom without working on dissolving the cause is useless. The moment we release our willingness or discipline, the symptom crops up again. So she says to clients, there must be a need in you for this condition or you wouldn't have it. Let's go back a step and work on the willingness to release the need. When the need is gone, you will have no desire for the cigarette or the overeating or the negative pattern. 
one of the first affirmations to use when you're wanting to make change in your life is, I'm willing to release the need for the resistance or the headache or the constipation or the excess weight or the lack of money or whatever. Say, I am willing to release the need for. If you are resisting at this point, then your other affirmations cannot work. The webs we create around ourselves need to be unwound. If you are ever to be untangled, oh, if you've ever untangled a ball of string, you know that yanking and pulling only makes it worse. You need to very gently and patiently unravel the knots. Be gentle and patient with yourself. As you untangle your own mental knots, get help if you need it. Above all, love yourself in the process. The willingness to let go of the old is the key. That is the secret. Here is the affirmative poem that introduces chapter six. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I now choose calmly and objectively to see my old patterns and make, I'm willing to make changes. I am teachable, I can learn, I am willing to change. I choose to have fun doing this. I choose to react as though I've found a treasure. And when I discover something else to release, I see and feel myself changing moment by moment. Thoughts no longer have any power over me. I am the power in the world. I choose to be free, all is well in my world. Thank you, Paris, I love that. I love you, I love Louise, hey. <laughs> Such good stuff, you know, what did I just write down? Willingness to let go of the old, you know, that's a big one. I was talking to somebody a couple months ago and I said, it sounds like you might be arguing for your limitations. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for that. We appreciate and love you. And thank you, Louise Hay. We appreciate and love you too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hand the screen back to Brittany now for another song this morning. Thank you, Brittany. And thank you, Paris, for that reading. That was really awesome. Um, this next song, or the first song that I'm going to play today, is um, it's an old song, but I learned it recently. Um, and it's it's called on a clear day and I think we could take this two ways we could look at the world on a clear day and truly experience and recognize how magical this planet that we live on is and we can also look at it as when we are in a clear space on a clear day of thinking we will see ourselves and the world around us as magical as it is so this is some Barbara Streisand for you this morning and look around you and you'll see who you are on a clear day how it will astound you that the glow of your being outshines every star You'll feel part of every mountain, sea, and shore you can hear from far and near. A world you've never, ever heard before. And on a clear day, on a You can see forever and ever and ever more. You feel part of every mountain, sea, 
and sure you can hear from far and near a world you've never ever heard before and on a Thanks so much. Thank you so much. That makes, I feel like I got a lung workout. <laughs> it's a high one. <laughs> so beautiful. I, yeah, amazing. Just amazing. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing you. And the music you choose is so, so beautiful as well. Thank you. Okay, Paris, I am going to hand this food over to you. And um, we get to open up to the blessing of abundance this morning. Thank you, Paris, for holding this space for us. Oops. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Uh, that was just, just lavish. I just loved that performance. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brittany. Um, my friends, I invite you to join me now for our prayer of plentitude as we welcome and receive the glorious abundance today and every day. Take a deep breath breathing in love and light, hold it gently and release it slowly as you connect through your heart with our message of prosperity. We come today opening our hearts and minds to the one spirit, the infinite light, mind, knowing that there is only one power and one life and that is the life of spirit. We affirm that we are one with spirit and there is no one, nothing that is separate from this oneness. We are one with the infinite mind that has created all that is. We know that the divine qualities of peace, of power, of plenty, of wisdom are already within each of us, and we embrace those qualities right now. We step forward with love and anticipation, standing in the truth of who and what we are, saying yes to our prosperity, harmony, health, order, and love, and to our amazing expansion in all its forms. And with the greatest gratitude, we accept this transformation of consciousness for ourselves and our community. We know that it is done and we give thanks. Now we release, we let go, and we let spirit do its perfect work through us. We trust the universe to provide for us, it is done, and so it is. Mm, another breath. <laughs> and now just a few important announcements. Remember that we have a new location in our, our in-person Sunday services on the first Sunday of every month, and we will gather in person. Um, Amy announced it a little bit earlier. It's at the Antioch Community Center at 4703 Lone Tree Way in Antioch in the West Island room. And we'll have signs out so you look for those at the left entrance as you come straight up the front door. Uh, additionally, Amy mentioned it before, but for those who might need it again, we're moving our loaves and fishes, food donations, monetary contributions, and recyclables to that first Sunday of the month at our new location in Antioch Community Center. Bring them with you when you come in person for service. Does anyone have a large barrel or container we could use for our collections? If so, please let Nancy know. And two new book groups are starting soon. Robin Chatham's book's discussion on the book Self-Therapy, a step-by-step -step guide to creating wholeness by Jay Early began last Wednesday. And her session happens on Wednesdays from 11 to 1230. 
a $20 love donation is um, requested. So please send those love offerings via Zelle, PayPal, check, or identify in the notes which group, and, 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 and identify in the note which group it's for. And Jan Knight will also have a new old favorite, Louise Hayes, You Can Heal Your Life. The first Tuesday in April from 1.30 to 3. And again, a $20 love donation is requested. Um, all are welcome. And please find all those links for the groups on our website at brentwoodinspiredlivingcenter.com and check, up, check out the upcoming events. And blessings and gratitude to you all. Thank you, Paris. We appreciate all those updates and bringing us into the, the plentitude. I feel it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Brittany, handing the screen back to you for our last song this morning for that opening up and sound healing. Thank you. All right. This last one is one of my favorite songs by one of my favorite artists. And um, uh, Paris talked about spirit doing work through us. At the end of this song, she says, we are God's hands. We are God's eyes. Um, and God, meaning your definition of the word God, of course. But um, yeah, we are doing work in this world and um, the spirit is always in us. If I could tell the world just one thing, it would be we're all okay. And not to worry, cause worry's wasteful and useless in times like these. I won't be made useless. I will not idle with despair. I'll gather myself around my feet. Light the darkness most fears My hands are small, I know But they're not yours, they are my own And they're not yours, they are my own And I am never broken Poverty stole your golden shoes it didn't steal your laughter And heart it came to visit me I knew it wasn't ever after We will fight, not out of spite But someone must stand up for what's right Cause where there's a man who has no voice There I shall go singing my hands are small, I know, but they're not yours, they are my own, and they're not yours, they are my own, and I am never broken in the end, only kindness matters in the end, only Kindness matters in the end. Only kindness matters. I will get down on my knees and I will pray. I will get down on my knees and I will pray. I will get down on my knees. I will pray My hands are small, I know But they're not yours, they are my own And they're not yours, they are my own And I am never broken We are God's eyes God's hands, we are God's eyes, and God's hands. Mm, Thank you so, so much. Beautiful. Thank you, Brittany. I remember going into a music store and buying that 
CD. That her <laughs> first doing. album was so yeah, good. It, yeah, it was. And um, I don't. Are there even music stores like that anymore? What were they called? There used to be a lot of them. <laughs> we, like, I guess it's Amazon now. Yeah, it's Amazon now, right? Yeah. Yes, but we Sam, have Sam Goody. <laughs> Yes, yes right. Guitar Center. Oh, Still that's around. Nice. Yeah, oh, that's good to know. Thank you, Brittany. If you, and thank you, Paris. She logged off. Thank you both for activating this space uh, with your enormous soul and splendor. And if you want more of Brittany Gilmore, she is Binks Lefay, B I N X L E F A E, on Instagram <laughs> and I think on Facebook too, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah both. Nice yeah. job with the spelling. It is kind of weird. <laughs> I, I got it. I got it down after last time. I think I said something wrong last time. So, yay! That is where you can find uh, Brittany and um, such a magical being. Thank you, Brittany, for sharing your heart all of that. Well, thank you so much. It's my pleasure and honor to be here, and I'll see you on the other side. I'll log into Facebook and watch Good. the talk. Good. Great. I'll look for you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, hello everybody. Oh yeah, chat says Amen, Brittany. Yes, beautiful. Thanks, Brittany. Yes, lots of love, lots of love. Okay, I'm ready. Here we are. Jerry is back. I'm so thankful for this divine connection, this divine spectacular being. Um, his life is a living testimony to to living full out, aligning with the magnificence that we all have access to, which he's gonna which he's gonna tell us all about. So um let me read you a little bit about Jerry so you get to know him better if this is your first time meeting him. Jerry Amika is a keynote speaker, performer, and facilitator who enjoys lighting a spark in people's eyes. He gets joy out of helping teens and individuals get past their limiting beliefs and put on a new pair of lenses to go beyond their problems and think from the solution instead of the problem. We are grateful. So, so, so grateful for you. So grateful that you're here with us. Um, we say yes to you and your message, and we're going to pray in right now. And so after we pray in, I'm going to hand the screen over to Jerry. And remember, if you have questions, comments, drop them in the feed in the chat while he's talking. And then when he completes, we'll get to those and we'll, we'll chat before we get on to the um, workshop at 1130. So I invite you to, to tune in with me right now. Breathe and take a breath, an inward breath. And as we inhale, let us... Uh, Feel, let's feel into the gratitude of community, into the gratitude and thankfulness of this moment as we fill up with imagination, as we fill up with inspiration and willingness, and we allow ourselves to commune with the presence of, of good, with God, with abundance, with, with health, with magnificence. And we claim and we declare that all is well, and we have God's hands, we have God's eyes. We connect ourselves to this loving, peaceful, divine essence that we are. And we open up to Jerry's message this morning as we know it will bless us in immeasurable ways. And in gratitude, we share the light with everyone because we are one. And so it is. I'm gonna say thank you, Jerry, it's all yours. Cool. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you, Brentwood. Um, uh, it's it's actually uh, it's 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 a huge pleasure to be back uh, to share the story and um, and and teach a little bit of you know Neville Goddard's teachings that help transform my life and uh, hopefully um, hopefully if you've never heard of Neville Goddard or you you you're not aware of your imagination, uh, hopefully this plants a seed that will. Uh, just spark a life of adventure for you going from here going forward because uh it absolutely changed my life and i know that if you dive in it will change your life as well uh so yeah amy thank you so much again for asking me to be with your community <laughs> so it's so cool to be here and, and teach and stuff so thank you um so uh we're talking about willing willingness or like um are you willing and um you know for this month the month of march i was kind of just like thinking about it i was like how am i gonna how am i gonna teach about willingness and um this week it actually came to me uh i was i was hanging out at the at the at our fire at our home and i was hanging out with one of my buddies and 
Uh, I let him know that I had just turned 40. And he said to me, man, you don't, you don't look like you're 40 or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I hear that all the time. Black don't crack. Yay. Uh, but, um, but he was like, no, really? Like you, you, you don't look like you're 40. I was like, well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. And he's like, how long have you lived here? Um, and I said, oh, it, actually it's only been about a year and not even a year and a month. I just, I just moved here. He's like, what? Dude, you look like you've lived here for years, like seven years at least. I was like, really? You think so? He's like, yeah, you totally do. And I said to him, I was like, well, I suppose I've always lived here before I lived here. And I was just willing to live here. <laughs> and so when we moved, it was, it was already home. I had already, and like I shared with you guys last year, I had already been meditating on the feeling of home. It was already within me. And so when that vision to uh, that I lived in Hawaii came to me while I was living in Chicago, I, I knew where I lived. And so when I moved here physically, it was, it was, an, it, I was already home as soon as we landed. So of course he would see me in that light. Of course he would see me as somebody who's lived here for a long time because I surrendered. I was willing to surrender to the wish fulfilled. I was willing to surrender to who I truly am. And when I say who I truly am, I'm truly meaning the God within me, the, the, the being within me that was here before this meat suit before my relationship with Amy, before my relationship with my wife or my son or my, my own parents and my own, my true self, which we've been thinking about all, all morning, that light, you know, the, the, we, we are, we are sons of God, right? So if, if we are sons of God, then we are God. So if I can surrender to that actual truth, then I can actually enter any home that I want to be in. So if I want to be home and home is Hawaii, then of course, when I move here, when people see me, they're going to see me as someone who lives in Hawaii, not somebody who's a tourist of Hawaii, not somebody who's like, oh, I'm going to stick around for maybe three years. And if it doesn't work, then no, when I moved here, I was home and the, the, the islands embraced me that way. <laughs> the things that I'm learning being being here in Hawaii are teaching me how much this island truly does embrace those that belong here and spits those that don't belong. And for somebody who's lived here for years to see me and say, I look, I, I look like the kind, as they would say, that's huge. That's, that's, that's a confirmation that I am home. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And I'm, I'm hoping to get um, get across to you guys of what it truly means to be willing to enter the state of the wish fulfilled and to be willing to let go of your old stories that keep you stuck in the in the mire of maybe one day or that could never work for me or uh, or uh, this story that I have that I've had since I was a kid means so much to me that I'm not willing to let it go. So I can actually be the man or the woman that I actually desire to be. So I actually wrote something that I would like to share with you guys. I, I, hopefully it's not too long, but I, I don't think it will be. But um, I'm gonna share these words and uh, then I'll share a little bit of the story of Hawaii and how it's unfolded and how willingness has helped me uh, 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 get there. So. The first thing, the first thing that one should know is that there's one cause and that is God. There's one cause in this whole vast world, call it the big bang, call it the universe. I call it God. It's way easier that way. And God planted himself in each and every one of us. And the Christians would call that Christ within and, or as Paul would call it Christ within, right? This Christ I've come to learn is our wonderful human imagination, as Neville Goddard would say. And Neville would often re, um, often quote uh, a poet named William Blake, and he would say, all that you behold, though it appears without, it is within your own wonderful 
human imagination in which this world of mortality is but a shadow. If you're willing to accept that phrase, it changes your whole entire life. You start to see that everything in this outside world, including your body, will conform to match the state of consciousness that you are holding. So if you want to switch to a new state of being, a new way of being, if you want to have new things, you want to, you just want to transform life, accept that the world is only your mirror. It is your shadow. You must bury your old self, put it away, bury it so far in the ground that when you come out, people are going to be like, wait, where did you go? That old story, they're going to come out and be like, oh, aren't you so-and-so? Isn't this your parent? Isn't that your story? And you're like, no, nope, not me anymore. And I'm not talking about ignoring your past and ignoring your trauma. I'm saying you're not going to give life. You are going to cease giving life to your old stories, your old beliefs, your old actions, and choose to be this new man. Once your reactions to life change, the whole world changes. As Michael Jackson often says, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make the change. <laughs> and these sound like such like, you know, like bumper stickers and all this stuff. And it's not about the words. It's about the feeling which is within you to express who you truly are or as you want to be. So. January 8th of last year, I woke up in, at 3.30 in the morning thinking that I lived in Hawaii. I shook it off and was like, nah, this is Chicago. What am I talking about? And I look at my phone and it's 3.30 in the morning and I see a notification that says one-way tickets to Honolulu for 99 bucks. My whole being lit up. I, I was just like, oh my God, this is it. Like, ah, I, ah what do I... My rational, logical brain was like, this is crazy. You're dumb. What, what, what plans do you have? You don't know anybody there. How are you going to live there? Isn't it Hawaii expensive? You're crazy. You can't do this. But my gut, my intuition was like, no, this is your call. This is literally what you have been praying for. You know exactly what this is. And I was in this like, tug of war within me where my ma rational brain and my heart were literally trying to sink up and I realized that I was drowning in the mire of what was going on and I truly had to let go but before I could let go I had to be willing to let go I had to be willing to say yes this is crazy I had to be willing to let go of all these stories that were holding me there. You have a family, you, you have a job, you, you, you have all these things that, that are keeping you here in solid. I had to be willing to let it go, all of it, because it wasn't me anymore. This was an old state that I could always come back to, but the unknown, it was calling me and I had to be willing to step into that shadow, that darkness, the unknown. I had to be willing to turn on my awareness, to, to literally turn on the light so I could see what was on the other side. Because I'm telling you, if I would have stuck behind, like my wife was really adamant about, <laughs> um, I, I don't know how to, I don't, I, I can't even describe it. I don't know what it would have happened, but I tell you this, my willingness to let go has brought me here to the big island where I'm now living on a farm with an amazing community of people. My wife is now beekeeping, which is something she's wanted to do since she was a little girl. She just sold her first bottle of, of honey a couple of weeks ago, actually. She never in her life actually thought that it would happen. She just was like, oh, I would love to be a beekeeper and all this stuff. My son gets to see the stars at night. And me, myself, I get to be one with nature, get to be one with my, my true God self to recognize like, oh my God, thank you. 
because I was willing to let go of the old story. You see, it's not, it's not hard, <laughs> but it ain't easy. <laughs> it's a very simple concept. It's a very simple concept, but it's not easy. So I'm not, I'm not here to say, boom, go, you're gonna nail it. But I will say, if you're willing, if you're willing to test what I'm talking about, it would change your life to truly recognize that it truly is within you. Are you willing to let that go? This old notion of blame, shame, right? Needing to be right, needing to figure it out, needing to, to stick to that plan. Or are you willing to truly let go and let God, as Wayne Dyer would say? I mean, that's true surrender. One of the things I learned, speaking of willingness and letting go, uh, I wasn't, I'm not a big swimmer. I guess I am now uh, since, since this happened. Um, but growing up, I wasn't a big swimmer. Definitely not somebody who's like, yeah, I'm going to jump into the ocean. <laughs> uh, wasn't, definitely not that guy. And uh, we were out at um, uh, Hoakena, Ho Hoakena uh, Beach. And um, my wife, my wife sees some dolphins out in the ocean. They were in some like in some cove and they're like these spinner dolphins. And she's like, she's going out there. I'm like, ah, no, but I want, but my, like, again, my, my gut, my intuition was like, go see the dolphins. And I was like, <laughs> they're too far. They're nowhere near the coast. But I was like, nope, you know, just, it's just, you just let go. Just, just be willing to just go, right? And um, I, I got on, I got on my friend's uh, paddle board or standing paddle board, and I just, I swam at, swam out there, and I was just like, like I couldn't hold on to anything tight enough, and I'm just going, and I'm like, I'm resisting. There's so much resistance in me, and so much resistance that I literally couldn't see anything. And then I was like, you know what, Jerry? If you, if you, if, th if this is it, at least you're going, at least you're going away with dolphins, right? And so I just, I just surrendered. I was just willing to just surrender to like, it's whatever. And then all of a sudden, the ocean just carried me. And I was just like, all I had to do was like lightly paddle. And then all of a sudden, the dolphins actually started swimming under me. And I was just like in the, it was just, I was there. It like the ocean, the paddle board, the dolphins, my wife, they were all there. The, it was all there. There was no resistance because I just dropped into my true self and said, all right, fine, let's go. It was my attachment to my body. It was my attachment to these stories that kept me struggling as I was going out there. I went the furthest away from the coast that I ever been in my life. I was like, looking back, I was like, how did I get here? Because I was willing to let go. Truly just willing to let go. So hopefully that evokes your own stories of yourself having been willing to let go in, in many moments of your life. And my invitation to you is to be willing to continually let go moment to moment to moment because you're always given right now. So surrender to the now and be willing to be your true self. Peace. Oh, thank you. Oops, let me put my, my, my audio is a challenge this morning with my audio going on. That was awesome. Thank you, Jerry. We appreciate you. I was thinking about the, the dolphin story and I don't remember who said it, but like ships aren't meant to be to stay at shore, right? <laughs> ships are meant to, to go out and adventure. Yeah. And so I was reminding, you reminded me of that, that quote about uh, being in the shore and how beautiful because that is, um, it's also, it's a, it's a trust, isn't it? You know, so we're releasing, it's our willingness but then there's this trust that I will be held. I will be okay. I will, 
we survive the ocean, right? And and so it's um, wow, how powerful and how amazing was that? <laughs> to swim with the dolphins. Oh, what, what it's it's I'm it's there's surprises every every turn of our of our adventure out here it's been it's been it mm, i'm telling mm. the wonderful human imagination and and surrendering to the wish fulfilled is where it's all at because god has so much stuff for us on the other side of the veil and if you would just just let go just be willing to let it go and not force things to happen it mm. right yeah i hear you and and I think we're very, um, well, there's a lot of components, but I think we're very conditioned, especially in our culture, to um, to control, you know, and, and that keeps us safe. Well, you know, that's the thought, is that it keeps us safe to control and, and know the plan and have exactly everything laid out. And um, I certainly know that was true for myself anyway. And I mean, I've had a similar, I'm in South Carolina now. <laughs> Last time we spoke, I was in California and it was yeah. quite similar after a few months after you came and spoke, um, I had that similar kind of moment where um, there was no question. It was like, oh, we're going to South Carolina. You know, it's like when you stay open, oh, you have the empty cup, right? It just drops in and you leave the space available to, to see a, a little more broad and to, to see with a different lens, like you said. Um, let's check in here. Everybody talk to us. Let us know what you're thinking. Um, any shares? Joanne says, had a very similar experience when we moved to Big Island in 2001. Joy, they're Joy on the big island. amazing. What's that? I said they're on the Big Island. Yay. That's where I am. Yeah. yeah. That's Joanne. Um, awesome. Another and someone else in paradise over there. <laughs> we, we were talking about weather this morning and I said, well, Jerry, you're in paradise. So, <laughs> so why? okay, Joanne says, mahalo. No, Jerry, needed to hear you today. Oh, yeah, we're grateful you're here, Joanne. Thank you for tuning in with us. Bob says, great, thanks, Jerry. Tanya says, love the story. Yeah, aren't stories great? They really just bring the essence of, of somebody out. and. Uh, you can really tune in, tune into to that. Yeah. The thing about story, I, I'd like to touch on story. Yeah, the thing about story too. is story truly helps us tap into our true self to really connect with others. Because I could talk about all the struggles that I have in my life and all this type of stuff, but to share a simple story like swimming with the dolphins or moving to Hawaii, my hope in sharing that story is that it evokes your own story, Amy, or anybody else's that's listening, being like, you know what? I, that's right. I've let go before. What am I talking about? I know exactly what he's talking about. This is easy. I've done this so many times. My whole life has been letting go. And when you, when you recognize that and you truly operate from that recognition and you're like, you tell your story and you tell that story again and you tell that story again you recognize that it's you it's always been you it's always been you you know it's always been the story you tell and the stories you let go of that really create the anthology of your life so tell your story even if it's to the person like moving a, a shopping cart in target and you can see they're a little bummed out you've been bummed out too and you letting go of your old story can help that person let go of theirs. And man, ripples going forward just from sharing story. Yeah. So isn't that true? Beautiful. Yeah, there's um, you you shared the William Blake uh, quote with us. I thought it was somewhere about um, all that you behold, you know, is oh, all yeah. within, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes and everybody, it, yeah. I was going to say, everybody is yourself pushed out. So when you, when you it, like bringing it to a negative, you know, when, when, when you're around a negative person, you notice how they're always projecting and, but they're projecting their, their own story, like out, out to the world. And it's like, well, if that's the truth, then why not project the, the other story, the, the poor positive story, the more life-giving story, the more uplifting story and project that out because 
you if someone's projecting their negative negatives onto you right it brings you down so what happens if you start projecting your positives your stories your wins your adventures oh my goodness the whole world would be like oh my god it is an adventure it is fun it's beautiful because <laughs> I get excited. people that I, I do too, they just um, may not have that awareness yet at this this point yet, you know, and so mm -hmm. they don't realize that they're doing that or they don't realize they're, they're, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day and she was telling me something she repeats a lot and she goes, well, I really don't want that. And I said, well, the universe is always saying yes, no matter what we're, we're saying. So um, until you have that moment where you realize that, right? And so uh, oftentimes it is you, us, whoever that shows up to be that light to be that beacon uh of light and in that moment somebody might be able to have a shift and see have that oh, aha that oh, eureka yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so that's why yep. it's important to show up as your your truth and your authenticity and you know back to Brittany's um jewel song you know i they are my hands they're, they're different than your hands and that's why we're all here together because we're, we're it's the mosaic right we're all the pieces um, yeah. come together to make this beautiful mosaic. Okay, let's check in with everybody. Um, Linda says, great advice, Jerry, helps me to let go of negative past. Pat says, been able at times to let go, to go into my deepest emotional fears and freedom happens. Yeah, definitely, right? And I was thinking about the swimming. Swimming can be a fear for people, yeah. So especially out in the ocean. <laughs> If dolphins are wonderful, but there could be other things, right? So, wow, exactly. beautiful. Let me check on our time. Okay, well, we're about bumping up to 11. So uh, we are getting ready to do to join together for a amazing workshop, Entering the Imagination. I am so excited. So this is what um, I suggest. Everybody get a snack, nourish yourself, hydrate yourself, and then tune back into our Zoom link that is on our homepage, BrentwoodILC.org. And we will be there ready for a workshop. We are so, I'm so excited for this because I know that after your last workshop, uh, many of us were talking about it for weeks and weeks after that. So I'm just, I'm, oh, wow. I'm geared up. Yeah, because, you know, I think, um, what is it? You know, you, you're, like I said earlier, you're, the, you're a living example. You walk your talk and there's something just so very profound about somebody, especially in that moment you shared with us last year you had just you were just right in the midst of this transformation that you had this vision you held this vision then all of a sudden here you are and it's it's really empowering profound exciting to to uh feel into that vibration with somebody mm. so thank you for nice. that thank you for bringing you and your uh experience and your your vibration to us let me just make sure i'm not missing anything Super, uh, everything you said was great. And so let me, I, I jot down notes while you're, um, you're speaking and yeah. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention. You said something that really struck me. It was so beautiful, poetic, profound. And you said, I lived here before. So when you got to Hawaii, it was like you were coming home because you lived there before. Was, did anyone else catch that? Did you think that was just Ah, it was just such a beautiful energy. I live, I lived here before. It's just amazing. I love that because that's the truth, right? You lived here. You lived. You already lived it, so you 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 step into that moment that already was, right? Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Saying that. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just, 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 just <laughs> to, to just just to put a, a note on that. It, it's true. We we're always thinking ahead of our evidence as one of my mentors would say. And so everything we're experiencing right now is actually a receipt of what has already been imagined. This all, all this stuff is secondary to the true cause. So all we're doing is actually stepping into the, what's already been created because everything has been created from within. Everything has been created from nothingness. So everything we're experiencing is truly the second time we've experienced it. And if you can actually, tr again, be willing to understand who you truly are, you would understand that and you wouldn't be in fear as you're walking through the space. When we're in fear, it's because we've sh we literally have cut off our connection to source. But once you connect to source, you recognize this is all a projection. 
This is all secondary. So there's nothing to fear. Truly. I know that sounds crazy, but truly there's nothing to fear there because um, it's already been created. So. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful to really grasp that. Like today was created yesterday or <laughs> the day before, right? Today. So in this moment now, we're, cre we're creating forward. This is not, yeah, this has already been created today, right? So yeah, right. exciting, exciting stuff. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so everybody, blessed be beautiful people. Um, if you feel refreshed, restored, uh, inspired, revitalized, grateful for Brentwood Inspired Living Community, please consider visiting our giving page on our website. That's brentwoodilc.org. When you share in this energetic exchange with us, we're so grateful because we love to be in that dance of life with you, that ebb and flow, that giving and receiving. And, you know, we love to do this. We love to bring inspiration and heart and soul to the world and your generous contributions make that possible. So thank you for co-creating with us. I am going to share my screen with you right now. And we're going to close with the prayer of divine awakening. And I invite you to speak this out loud at home and, and um, just embody this, be this, be with this uh, prayer. And it should be on the screen now. Hopefully it is. The prayer of divine awakening. It's a new day, a beautiful day, a new beginning. I embrace this day with new eyes and open heart and expansive mind. I choose my vibrational frequency deliberately and consciously harmonizing with life's events. I am receptive to source energy, divine guidance and wisdom available to me at all times. I commit to serve unconditional love fully and completely. I move forward in a state of appreciation and extension of the one magnificent power and presence. I am sovereign, whole, and free, claiming dominion over my life as I go in peace and awaken to my divinity. And so it is. Blessings, blessings, beautiful beings of love and light. We are so grateful to, to be co-creating with you. Shine on, beings of brilliance. I will see you in the workshop right now. I dropped the link. I'll drop it again. It's also on our um, homepage on our website, BrentwoodILC.org. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, thank you for you, for bringing you. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the other side of Zoom. Blessings, everybody.